Yes, hello, my name is Rod Baird. Welcome to ISFA 2014. We're here introducing today the uh, SU-5000 Variable Pressure Field Emission Microscope. It's Hitachi's newest instrument in our SEM product line. Um, as you can see here, it is a very large chamber. It can handle the uh, 200 millimeter diameter samples as well as an 80 millimeter tall sample. Uh, as you can see also, um, it has a pull-out door, chamber door. And as you can see here on the, on the screen, um, it has a uh, stage mounted door and we feel at Hitachi that's the best way to handle your uh, your samples uh, by by mounting the stage on the door you don't actually have to reach into the chamber to set your samples where you might bump your bump a detector or bump the pull piece and damage and cause some expensive repairs uh, the system also has um, about a, it's a very large chamber but it still has a very fast pump down time at about less than three minutes uh, the system also has a newly designed high vacuum and low vacuum system. So, and one of the, the key features of the Atachi variable pressure system is we also have, um, we don't have to change out apertures when you're changing between low vacuum and high vacuum. The system, you just very simple and we'll show you in the software, but the software can go ahead and uh, you can click in the software, it'll jump between uh, low vacuum and high vacuum with a click of a switch. Uh, the system also has, uh, since like I mentioned, there's no aperture change outs, which I know some of the other systems that are on the market, you actually have to reach into the chamber and change out the aperture or do an automatic aperture change out, which also can affect uh, your working distance during imaging. Uh, the system also has a uh, five segment uh, BSC detector, which is capable of mixed signals and uh, maximizes uh, topography. And we also have a, uh, uh, if you look here on the microscope, we have a, a Schottky uh, electron source. Um, it also has a, um, a sensored aperture. And we also have a secondary in-lens secondary electron detector here. This is our new UVD variable pressure detector, which uh, allows you to do uh, SE-like imaging in, in low vacuum. Uh, the system has uh, 11 total ports with uh, four analytical high angle ports. Uh, we're going to also do a quick demonstration on the software here. One of the other key features of the SU-5000 is we have a whole new designed interface. Uh, Mike here is going to go ahead and uh, demonstrate the capabilities of the system. We actually have uh, four out-of-focus and out-of-brightness bright images here. He's going to go ahead and show you how the auto-focus, excuse me, yes, from four separate detectors. You'll see here how quickly the auto-brightness will adjust. It's going to go through and make an adjustment to, for each of the detectors, adjust the brightness, and now with a click of the button, it does the autofocus. And with your SEM users that are out there, you'll notice that that is very fast. A lot of surface information there on that image, just at a click of a button. Um, Mike's going to also do a little uh, quick overview. The system has two different modes. Uh, we call it our EM wizard, which gives you the ability to do uh, advanced mode as well as standard. So for, you, for the advanced operations, you can use the full, full, full usage of the, uh, the interface with a mouse click and also with a handset. Uh, and this function here, Mike's now pulled up, this is the, the standard user interface. And it has the ability here to have predetermined preset um, selections. And Mike's going to talk a little bit about this. If I may, this, this software actually allows a very inexperienced or novice user to actually take full advantage of performance for the microscope, but instead of having to figure out what to do and how to do it, the system will automatically do it for them. So for instance, in this case, I'm going to do elemental and surface information imaging. So as soon as I click that and click change, the microscope immediately is going into uh, realignment mode, meaning that it's actually aligning all the conditions, setting all the voltages, all the lenses, to the proper condition to achieve the imaging objective that I selected. And the reason it can do that so effectively and efficiently, it's because the technology that we use for doing this is the same technology that we use in our multi-million dollar critical dimension measurement SEMs, which are used in the uh, semiconductor industry. So those instruments actually have to work 100% accurate all the time. And the same algorithms, the same technology that we use in those machines is used in the system, meaning that we have a special sample that we can put in and auto calibrate everything so the user does not have to worry about setting the microscope. The user is not following a guideline to set up the microscope. The microscope is doing everything for them. So here in the GUI again, when I switched over to the standard mode of operation, I no longer have the full control that I had as an advanced operator. So all I have a choice to do right now is to click the start button 
And as you can tell in the graphic, the software is even telling the operator what is happening to the machine, what's going on. The beam is coming down, it's being focused by lenses, it's striking the sample, generated electrons, those electrons are being collected by a detector. All the while, it's realigning itself, recalibrating itself, and in just a few seconds, it basically presents the user with a purpose-specific image that he or she has selected. So then, the operator is really only left to select auto brightness and contrast, auto focus, and capture an image that's already focused, ast astigmatism corrected, brightness and contrast corrected, perfect image, three clicks of the mouse, you're finished, job done. Thank you, Mike, I appreciate that. So we are here at ISFA uh, till Wednesday, and we're here at uh, booth 119. Please come by. We're going to open for demonstrations, bring your samples. We also have several other instruments here for uh, AFM, also an ion milling system, as well as our tabletop SEM. Thank you very much.